Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hold the result that you play is unable to start your download error that you're coming across on your Windows computer. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time, type in CMD. Best match trickle back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now the first command you want to type in is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space and then a forward slash flush flush DNS DNS all one word there except for that space in between the IP config and the forward slash. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. And the next command you want to type in is NETSH space WINSOCK W I N S O C K space reset again exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard so at this point you will need to restart your computer and hopefully I would have been able to resolve your problem. So at that point, just close it here, restart your computer, hopefully that's resolved the problem. Another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to open up the star menu once again. Type in control panel. Let's match the command on control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to category view and then select network and internet. So go ahead and just click on that one time. Underneath network and sharing center, left click on view network status and task. Underneath internet type, so connections, you just select whatever is in this hyperlink right here, so go left click on that. Select the properties option. Select internet protocol version 4, and then in parentheses TCP slash IPv4. And select properties. Make sure obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are both the selected options. And then select OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer. Hope that's resolved the problem. Another thing you can try it would be to uninstall and then reinstall the Uplay application as well. So this is an Ubisoft product. So you can just try to reinstall the application and that might be another potential fix for you. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.